to the weekly series of the Wrestling is Tears podcast. And the Wrestling is Tears podcast week this year presents this week, this this day's episode would be the Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan storyline. And it's been like people like, oh, like, you know, I should have talked about art. Yeah, we're finally are talking about it. I'm sorry for yeah, not. Um, probably talked about it a bit on the the state of views and shit, whatever the hell that was, we talked about over there, but let's get into more more about it. Um, so we best seen enough of this bullshit was there, where the seeds were really getting planted, and you had seen backstage what was going on between these two. Like, you saw Liv Morgan going, and then you saw Dominic coming out, and then slowly, and then where it completely came into a story, and came in front of our screen as eyes. People spotted that, like, little tease at the back. Is where Dominic costed Becky Lynch the championship. And you could say on purpose or unintentionally, you don't know what the fuck. We don't know what story they're telling. Probably on purpose. Like, come on. He can't. We can go. Dominic was jurying. He is some son of a bitch. He's not gonna let the he love still. We're gonna discuss it later on, but that slow build up after she costs her costs and Becky the championship and now the steel cage match costs her the championship again where this he so Liv Morgan again wins and then and 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 the end of that episode we see both of them like face face mouth whatever the fuck and making it they were making now she they were not making it she like kissed him like it you know, she looked, uh, she revved it. She wanted to, you know, we're not going to talk about it here, but it was the love and the sparks and the interesting stuff that's going on um, in the square line. It was where they're just make he, she's just making out with Dominic and just, and when Wall goes off the air, but like people call it the WCW fuck up, but it was not the WCW fuck up in the league. Wait, what? It was. Um, really to discuss here it was not a WCW fuck off it was them just giving power to and you know do shit like this uh, it was on WCW fuck off fast forward we get to Warren Leaks and now where she's actually not confronting Dabla and calling him you know I I want somebody calling you daddy or mommy. me I, I, I'm not your mom man but you're my daddy and then she starts calling him her daddy all the time, and it just gets worse. And then the it's so freaking funny, especially like with the Judgment Day's involved in it. And then slowly, he's like, and we're, especially Finn and and Shady Kate out to move, move Dominic away. And then the key card situation is there Finn Dollar. I saw how you know, with Dominic. And I'll, you know, this story man in general has just. The craziest amount of twisty turns. It's pro wrestling opposite as for some person. It's like, Lord. This story was lit from the front and the, 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 the get go when it started. Again, the teases from back when I'm mentioning here, the teases in the story were really special. They were unique and they worked like a motherfucker. They did this. Like people noticed it was going the draft night was really early on where you could notice you obviously saw that to live more again. Obviously a little morning than injured. Sorry, when she mean real they got injured. You could see then Little Morgan coming out like off, you know, I though. Um and it was not planned injury, it was a legit injury that happened to Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, you know. Well, you would say she was on her fucking revenge tour, but she legitimately injured her, and there was no fucking way you could tell what's gonna happen. We 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 leave that shit alone. And we go on to talk here about more here at SCW. So Liv Morgan is just is really like fucked up, girl. She's like, died, and she's doing the nastiest shit. Like, mind up edge and lead out that Oh, then, um, so. She's calling her from daddy, and she's saying that, 
you know, I don't want to be with the guy who calls him mama, I would go, but calls me daddy. And like giving my daddy dumb. And then just this pretending, and especially on Father's Day. We know what Christian says on Father's Day. We don't need to talk about that, but, um, Lil Morgan, how we father stick to Dominic. And then Dominic liking every lip post, Lynn Morgan liking every Dominic post. The shit just went wild. Chest solidly folding somebody in. God, oh, this, oh, this great. Dominic Mysterio. Luckies, but they just people call him. The dude, my god, and especially as you know, as again, we're going back to what he is, Dominic Mysterio. People hate him so much, he is so hated to this day, and it's working. It's giving you that edge, right? People hated Edge so much, they loathed him. People used to boo him like crazy. He was the slime and Douchebag that people hated, and now Dominic is turning into that. But it was some real life issues that people hated for the Edge because they hated what Edge did to Matt Hardy, you know, with Lita and Meta relationship, whatever. And bros for O's, but there were hoes before bros. We're not gonna talk about that, but you know what happened. That's another Tiaska professional wrestling that happened legitimately. In a real life situation, a real life cheating situation. Um, so Liv Morgan is just absolutely fantastic with the words she's about. And again, the Judgment Day scoreline also in this way is really elevated. Damien Priest is really turning into a big face really soon. For feel the implements of it. Uh, Liv Morgan as a wrestler is do its test. She's barely had any matches. He had them feud with Julio Vegas so far. And uh, it's the interesting feud. God the bless. <laughs> the feud is quite special. Liv Morgan as a talent. Is a really great talent. She is... She's just elevated herself. You think about where... She came from from the Wyatt Scott and stuff. And then from that to Lady Ava, I can't do whatever. I don't know. So I this whatever it all was. Where Tom was at. And then from that, watch we stuff. And the one in the on this championship. But nothing really clicked with her. Especially the watching stuff. Or if I were being this undered out baby says, Yeah, you could cheer for her. Because we really like him. I don't really adore Fuck. It didn't click for her. She started just... Mm, it this this worked this worked like a motherfucker because she is like she is I think she's like that. She's like this Yeah. Trying to get you in attractive white chest when we'll want to have a uh, intimate with you. I'm not gonna guess that more, but that's what she wants to do with Donic. And it's, it's working so well. That given anything that might happen, you can tell how that's not gonna work compared to what we're about to, you know, what's about to happen. Right? It's where he's so well. It is one of the greatest stuff that's working out. <laughs> it's working like, my God. That feud. With Do with Dominic and we were bleak and uh, you know, as we just talked about it again, Liv Morgan is working in like a month for it. It, it is so good. I don't even need to judge you on that what it's what feet. The point of that feud is that it's working because you know because it's quite like how it, it feels realistic. It, feel, it feels like we, uh, you know, I you know, but Gianna and Daddy, what that's her name? I don't know, but it feels her, it feels her being her herself. It doesn't feel it's underdog baby face, but she looks like woman. She's been portrayed in one, too, but it doesn't feel that all this. 
in this feud where she's, she's just, the, this storyline is so good. It is, it like, like, lost storylines are more usually cringe and they don't work. But, and like, like, sex, uh, people say probably sex does not sell in professional wrestling, but this sells. And loves can be the great T pro S. You can see this, 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 you, this, this story of the of between Don and again, and you know, Lil Morgan, and then him, like telling him daddy and doing the doing absolutely the most wildest things on live television on Monday Night on the USA Network. I don't do no fly with McMahon at all. Yeah, that was one in that month, like. Like, we were really can't do any shit like that. We didn't see. Like, Liv Morgan is absolutely clean to wait. I'm stuck because she is doing the bones. How oh, can The most craziest shit. Wild imagination. It's like the story. And there have been a lot of fans into that. Because I think there are a lot of thirsty fans of Liv Morgan and just fans who would love to see Penelope. That what an otter. Yeah. Well, if sexual angles, apparently, people really, because, you know, in a way, if you remember in 2006, I mean, we may supposed to probably were not bored if you uh, got like this, whatever, or you were born and you watched this with your grandma or ma or whatever, and where Edge and Lita had that live sex celebration, right? We're heading towards that, and we're heading to Netflix, so... That could happen. It's a interesting situation we're in, man. And... Sex does sell in professional wrestling.